supercharged energy storage, super electric stock, or synthesis energy systems? Whatever acronym you like, SESAI is powering up to be a potent force in the battery industry worth watching. To understand why, let's dissect this energy cell's background and get a rundown on the ways it's approaching the battery business, thereby getting a clear idea of why and how a few key collaborations have catalyzed this stock from earlier troubles. Taking advantage of big name associations with companies like Hyundai, Honda, and NVIDIA. On top of the charge, it's accumulated through its own technical and manufacturing progress. Founded in 2012 and headquartered in Woburn, Massachusetts, SESAI is pioneering AI enhanced lithium metal and lithium ion rechargeable batteries, targeting applications like electric vehicles, drones, robotics, and energy storage. What set it apart relatively early from the big bunch of battery businesses? was its batteries being the first to incorporate electrolyte materials discovered through AI, offering high energy and power density. That means while its core focus on combining lithium metal and lithium ion technologies for improved energy density and scalability isn't entirely unique, their early adoption and continued use of AI is what helped it stand out and gives it a crucial edge to push to the front of the pack in the ongoing race for enhanced energy storage. AI is integrated across their operations in three key areas. Science, optimizing battery performance. Manufacturing, fine-tuning quality based on process data. And safety, predicting battery failures to enhance safety. All contributing to the common objectives of accelerating battery commercialization by optimizing production efficiency and material development. Along with improving battery quality, fast charging capability, and overall management systems. One of the most electrifying results of all these AI endeavors produced is Molecular Universe MU, a software and service platform to accelerate battery material discovery. Offering what SESAI believes to be the first molecular universe map for battery applications, providing a vast database of small molecules and their properties relevant to battery technologies. MU is made up of four key components. Map, filter, search, and ask, enabling professionals and researchers to more easily and intuitively discover and evaluate molecular properties, fast-tracking the research and development process. It incorporates GPT-5 models and proprietary training data from publications, patents, and experimental results, with features like Intelligent Find Friends for molecular search, Formulate for property predictions, and Predict for forecasting cell performance meaning search function spans literature research, molecule search, formulation search, and cell performance prediction. Offering a map of molecular properties and an intuitive natural language-based navigation system to literally progress with prompts, streamline research and development. MU is already being used by at least two OEM partners, with strong industry interest from both research users and commercial developers. Its database contains millions of molecules with varied access depending on subscription status, which is organized into tiers, starting with a free research tier for educational public users who are able to access 1 million molecules, followed by a joint development tier that includes molecule synthesis and battery construction services. Then, the enterprise tier provides access to over 100 million molecules, with customizable features and annual updates to both the database and AI models. SES reported that Molecular Universe has already helped enterprise customers improve battery performance across various sectors, including energy storage, drones, electric vehicles, and consumer electronics. To meet growing demand, a new business development lead was hired to accelerate its market strategy. Along the way, SES reported generating revenue from joint development customers and expects additional revenue from enterprise subscriptions in the coming quarters. In the future, the goal is to extend to industries beyond batteries, including specialty chemicals, personal care, and oil and gas. While the focus is solely on batteries, the feature called Deep Space attracts excitement since it's a tool that uses a multi-agent model to conduct advanced battery research at a senior scientist level, providing results within 10 to 20 minutes, significantly faster than traditional methods. Deep Space is particularly suited for commercial product development, helping manufacturers optimize electrolyte formulations and battery chemistries. It also introduces a molecule sketchpad and support for Mandarin and Korean, particularly as SES has established research and development facilities in Shanghai and Chungju, South Korea. These sites focus on AI research, electrolyte discovery, and large-scale production capabilities. As Molecular Universe evolves and gets adopted by more researchers at companies, national labs, and universities, 
SES explains R&D will accelerate, while costs will be reduced, helping clients avoid costly trial and error approaches. An example of this in action has seen SES signing a term sheet to form a joint venture, JV, with Hisan New Energy Materials to commercialize electrolyte materials discovered through MU, with the JV being 90% owned by SES. Hisun, a Texas-based manufacturer, will provide its established manufacturing capacity, allowing SES AI to accelerate the commercial supply of these AI-driven discoveries. At the same time, this venture represents a new stream of income with recurring revenue potential for SES beyond its software subscriptions and development services, as it plans to supply discovered materials to global customers. The JV allows SES to maintain a CapEx light approach by leveraging his son's existing global capacity, which exceeds 150,000 tons annually. Then, as SES works with Urban Air Mobility, UAM, partners to develop new cell designs, it's converting its previous EVA sample line to cater to the unique demands of UAM. It also launched its first dedicated lithium metal cell production facility for UAM applications in Chengju, South Korea. The facility has undergone a successful field acceptance test, FAT, becoming the world's first production line specifically focused on UAM, where AI plays a central role in manufacturing and safety. On top of that, the lithium metal batteries produced for UAM applications already obtained, GB38031, 2020 Certification for Abuse Safety. In fact, SES was the first company to successfully pass the GB38031, 2020 Electric Vehicle Traction Battery Safety Standard with its 100 amp hour lithium metal cells, which is also applicable for safety standards for UAM applications. This certification, mandatory in China, one of the largest EV markets confirms that SES AI's lithium metal cells can meet stringent safety requirements, including overcharge, short circuit, heating, and crushing tests, giving OEMs like Hyundai critical confidence to move ahead with plans to go from prototype, A sample, to B sample batteries, with C sample commercial production expected by 2027, paving the way for concrete licensing agreements with original equipment manufacturers, OEMs. Other opportunities extend beyond just battery performance. AI is used for screening electrolyte materials, enhancing manufacturing processes, and predicting safety issues, aiming for near 100% safety in field applications. AI-enhanced batteries can also extend the life of battery energy storage systems, BESS, essential for stabilizing renewable energy sources. That's why SES acquired Shenzhen UZ Energy, a provider of premium energy storage systems, ESS providing a gateway to enter the global ESS market, estimated to be worth $300 billion. UZ Energy brings established hardware, efficiently operating with 74% gross profit margin, and a customer base spanning Australia, Europe, and Asia, with the potential for expansion into North America where great opportunities have been noted. That's because SES is integrating UZ Energy's sales channels from its established global network of partners to help it target growing demand particularly from AI data centers, which are expected to triple their share of U.S. electricity usage by 2028. Advantageously, since UZ's founding in 2013, it designed and manufactured ESS for commercial and industrial applications, having deployed over 500 megawatt hours of systems across more than 60 countries. SES also plans to produce and sell ESS hardware and software solutions, incorporating safe, long-cycle life materials and health monitoring from MU. In turn, real-world data from UZ adds to MU's repository. To test the waters of North America's energy appetite, SES signed a non-binding Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with AI Specs, a Texas-based retail energy provider, to provide the best. The MOU targets a potential $45 million purchase order pipeline, including up to 100 megawatt hours of batteries. The first project would be a Texas crypto mining site valued at $13 million to be completed in two phases, possibly clearing the way for entry into the growing energy storage market, particularly driven by crypto mining and data centers, giving SES a piece of the action in a total addressable market far larger than electric vehicles. Then perhaps one of the biggest jolts for SES came during CES 2025, when it unveiled what's being called a groundbreaking AI-enhanced 2170 cylindrical battery cell designed specifically for humanoid robotics applications. This new battery is the first to incorporate an electrolyte discovered through MU, 
which was helped by the computing power and collaborations with NVIDIA, Supermicro, and Crusoe, resulting in the mapping process going from over 8,000 years to just two months. The new 2170 cylindrical cell combines the familiar form factor of industry-standard lithium-ion cells with improved low temperature and high-rate performance, better cycling stability, and reduced risks of gassing and thermal issues making the cell ideal for robotics and drones. This market only presented a $10 billion market opportunity in 2023. Though as lithium-ion cylindrical cell demand grows for robotics and drones, it's projected to grow to $50 billion by 2033. This enormous increase is already being recognized in the form of SES, completing a purchase order from Data Blanket to supply batteries to power AI-driven drones used in forest fire management and border patrol operations. As a result of wins like these, Long-time investors rejoice as meaningful revenue recognition is expected heading into 2026 with liquidity projected to last through 2027. Crucial for sustaining SES as it goes from ambitious ideas from its early years to real-world applications and later widespread commercialization. The journey hasn't always been smooth, and it's still correct to say SES remains in an emerging stage. That's why it's not too surprising its stock regained compliance less than a year ago following its stock price falling below $1 during a period of doubt from impatience over the pace of progress. Its powerful rebound back over $1 has undoubtedly been powered by positive reaction to the practical and relatively quick implementation of MU, as well as the progressive push past just EV batteries into UAM, drones, robotics, and energy storage, resulting in a rush of concrete leads for expanding collaborations and gaining more clients. Though just for good measure, a $30 million share repurchase program will allow SES to buy back up to 11% of its Class A common stock. The repurchases can be made through various methods, such as open market transactions or privately negotiated deals in accordance with federal securities laws. Funding will come from the company's existing cash and is intended to enhance shareholder value. However, SES is not obligated to repurchase a specific number of shares, and the program may be suspended or discontinued at any time. Founder and CEO Chi Chao Hu emphasized that the repurchase reflects confidence in the company's 2025 revenue projections and its expectation of ending the year with over $200 million in liquidity, giving investor funds more reason to keep flowing into this battery business to keep the charge going. For more on stocks and crypto, follow Ascencore. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.